Palace took a point at Brentford on Saturday despite only having one shot on target. As expected, tonight they make changes too. Richards, Tompkins, Klein, Riedewald, Ahamada, Mateta and Raksaki come in for the South Londoners. Very, very busy home park here on the south coast. As Plymouth are sitting around with some serious confidence early on here from their home support. Here's Callum Wright, the tricky number 11 in green. Plymouth on across to the right hand side. Can make this position lots of white palace shirts back. That's a good fake shot. Come cross as it comes in towards the back post, into the mix it goes, and it's turned in. And Plymouth lead early doors. Ben Wayne with the finish, and the championship side lead the Premier League side. Well, it was Tyreek Wright with the cross from the right hand side. And in it comes, knocked down by Callum Wright, and Ben Wayne, he arched his body brilliantly. Great interchange down the Plymouth left-hand side as the ball comes into the mix. It's well dealt with at the near post, though, by Richards. It's not away. Kundal has it, edge of the penalty area. Oh, what a hit! Luke Kundal! A flying finish from the Wolves' low knee. He picks it up 30 yards out and leaves Sam Johnston clutching it thin air as it nestles in the far corner. Bang! That was a beauty. And Eze are on. The left back Mitchell not seeing progress up the left too much in this game. Here's Eze. Dives at the Plymouth defence. This is what he does. Eze, look at that. Five shirts forward in white as it comes into the mix. And one of them gets on the end of it. And that one is Odson Edward. Ball in from the right hand side. And the former Celtic man is there to finish. This isn't over yet. Palace with their tails up. Just the introduction of Eze has changed the feeling of this game. Good finish from Edward. Nice look. It's Richards now. It's a Mitchell, I say, on the overlap. He's not picked up by anyone in green. He's a one-on-one -on -one with the defender. Across the six-yard box, and it's tapped in. And Palace are level in the blink of an eye. It's Jean Philippe Mateta, the Frenchman with the tap in after some brilliant wide play by Eze involved in both goals. It's two and three minutes for Palace, and there's still half an hour or so this game to play. Here we go, a winner in normal time. That's the away support you can hear now. Shushed by those from South London. There's some good interplay here. Schlupp has got runners ahead of him. One of them's Mateta into the box. He goes! Oh, what a hit! Jean Philippe Mateta. A brilliant, brilliant strike from him. The interplay in midfield was just exceptional. And it was Schlupp who slid in Mateta. This was the link up play. Edward Schlupp. Brilliant stuff. Look at the space he was asking for it, Mateta. The advancing defender. Oh, and they've lost it in midfield. Butcher loses it. And now it's Eze, 2-1-2. Two two. And Palace are in here. Is this it? It is! The hat-trick for Jean-Philippe Mateta. He's really put Plymouth to the sword in this second half. Eze coming on has really changed this game as well. And Palace get another and they are nearly in the third round. I and mean, it was two on two here. You fancy the Premier League side, Mateta, head down, bang. <laughs> the way end. Sounds like a fun place to be, and it will be now, and on that coach home, because they got there in the end, despite being pretty average for the majority of the game, Roy Hodgson's side have turned it on in the second half. 